Hi there, this is Abhishek and in this video I will talk about how you can access the spreadsheets, the Google spreadsheets and within the Google spreadsheets, the multiple tabs that you have, how you can easily access them and get the data set. Alright, to do that, what we need is basically one Google Drive or an spreadsheet connector. So you click over here. Once you click it over here, it will ask you what option you want. So generally what we want is worksheet. So let's click it over here, get worksheet and click on parameters. Right now, uh, we need an authentication code. So let's click on authenticate. Once we click on authenticate, it will ask to choose our Google account through which we have really connected or we through which we have got the license. So let me select that. And once I select it, you know, we need to give it a permission. So we need to click on allow. Once we click on allow, it will give us a code like this and I will click, I will select and copy this and paste it over here. Once I paste it, I can save it and so that I don't have to do it again and again. So once we do it over here, we need to get the worksheet key. So the worksheet key right now is over here, uh, but let me show you the process if I remove this. So worksheet key is basically we will get it as it is mentioned from the help that you should retrieve this from the worksheet key column of the list worksheets table so list worksheet table is present over here list worksheet go to parameters once you do that you need to provide a spreadsheet key through which you want to get the uh, keys to fetch the data so this is the table that i have in my drive so I can copy this particular information. So anything after this D forward slash all of this code and before the next forward slash, I need to copy this and paste it over here. So I'm pasting it again, copy, paste, save and input and run the table. Once it will run, it will fetch all of the data. So right now it is getting some problem. So let me copy it again. If I copy and let me try to paste it again and save input and run table. Yeah, this time it has successfully fetched. I think some mistake I did. So this is a worksheet key that we basically need either of based on the six worksheet key and how to identify which worksheet key we need because we are just aware that this sheet has the tables, these tables or the sheets. So your information is given here on the right hand side, the title of those tabs. So I need the information from orders. So what I'll go is on towards the left. I will copy this information, copy, control C, go back, get worksheet, parameters, remove entire information and paste it and save and input run the table so then it will show you first of all the the data that is related to your script so as you can see row id order id order date order priority sales 261.54 discount ship mode you can verify this information sales to for row one 261.04 is discount fabulous yeah. so yeah i think that's good that then uh, you can get the click view script like this. So what you need to do is copy this entire piece or you can press this button copy to clipboard and paste it in click view. And if you need the uh, click sense script, you click over here, get the click sense. I think it's pretty much the same. So paste it into your click sense and uh, get worksheet. So if you need another sheet, data from another sheet, you need to go back on the list worksheet and uh, get the table information and get your get your data or i would say get your uh, sheet key information based on what what from which sheet you really need the data so that's that's how very conveniently with the help of web connectors you can download the data and uh, get it into your click your click sense